Hello everyone, came in here. Today I'm gonna show you how I painted this Killmonger bust by 3D Wicked. Everything got covered in black, took a lot of paint, but I'm gonna show you guys this time last just how I painted everything. Unfortunately, some of the files of when I painted the sword and the spear and um, some of the other items, unfortunately they got corrupted but I'm gonna show you guys as much as I can. Enjoy. All right, for the helmet, the spots, I painted them with some Vallejo gold. Um, the suit and the helmet are different in that the helmet, the spots are painted, but on the suit, on the body, the spots are actually black. And the underneath layer, the background layer, is actually a gold shimmer. So here's how it looks, everything painted. Uh, this took a lot of layers, a lot of patience. So after I had it all painted, I gave everything a kind of a wash, as you could say. Uh, this is uh, the same black, but it's very watered down, maybe one part paint and about 10 parts of water, just to give it a more shadow look, uh, how it looks in some of the toys that I saw around. So the gold doesn't stand out too sharp. That way, when I paint the teeth and the eyes, the gold's kind of shine through more for those specific areas. As you can see on the body, the spots are black and I have gold just underneath all those layers. What I did was kind of the same thing that I did for the helmet was put some gold and then to dull it down a lot to make it look more of that stealth color, I just put more washes on top of it of black. Now for the necklace, I had to do about five to seven layers. And uh, as you can see, it built up a more even texture. For the teeth, I grabbed bone white and to mimic the gums, I had some reddish brown to uh, make it a fade. However, since this was black going to white, this also took many, many layers and longer than I usually prefer to spend on this. But I think at the end, the process paid for itself.
If you guys are looking for something that is a really strong bond for big pieces, I recommend this KB Well Epoxy. For smaller stuff like bits of hair or maybe arrows in a quiver, uh, you could do super glue, but for pieces that either weigh a lot or that are just uh, big in size, I recommend this epoxy. Uh, trust me, it's just it, it, it's just much better. Now I have everything sealed, individual pieces with a couple coats, but I haven't finished the piece because I'm trying to make these joints. As you can see here, there uh, they're really far apart. So I'm gonna have to get some some clay in there kind of even it out and what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna try to make it seem like it's one of the lines of the suit so painting it it's not that much it's just gonna be filling in the area trying to make it seem like another line and then paint it black and then seal it up again For the logo, I kept it simple with silver over top of everything, gold on the lines and purple on the letters. And here's the finished product again. Here you can see that nice transition on the teeth that are very white, but the bottom of them kind of resembles that uh, teeth when you pull them out of gums. And here is the helmet. Like I told you guys, I put a wash down to make that gold on the teeth and on the eyes stand out a lot more. I hope you guys enjoyed the little bit of video that I actually had for this bust. I know I recorded a lot more, but the files got corrupted. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stick around for the next video.